Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video which is going to be a look at how I start planning out a new week in my Mrs Hinch The Little Book of Lists which I use for way more than just cleaning and also the 2021 Box Clever Press Family Life Book. So I start off in the Hinch List book and we'll go to the new week and currently I already have the dates on each of the pages and what I'm going to do is take a pen that I know won't bleed through the page and I'm going to use the Zebra Sarasa in 0 0.7 and I'm going to start mapping out um, on each day the big things that I know I've got planned in that will be my big to do's which are mainly work related and I'm also going to take note of any events that I have, as well as write in each of the days of the week, which I like to be a little bit fanciful with. So I will speed this little bit up and come back in a sec. <laughs> So you can see that I've started to block out things for my day. Um, just going to finish off there. Not entirely sure how my work day looks on Tuesday, but I'm definitely working. Um, so I've blocked in any of the meetings that I have, any appointments that I have. Um, and the thing with planning in these is originally, obviously, these are a to-do list. And I use them like it's a to-do list, but I do use them in time order. So it might be that on a day like Tuesday when I've got, I know that I'm working and I maybe know that I'm going to do the school pickup around three or at three. Um, it might be that this section in here will just be a straight to do list of all the things that I have to do work wise rather than necessarily being a timed to do list of when I need to do what. And the same with Wednesday and Thursday mornings. I'll be working before I have these meetings. So it'll just be a case of bullet pointing a, a few things that I need to get done. And the same on Saturday. I have a work day on Saturday. So again, it will be a case of putting in all of the things that I have to do once I know what I need to do. And so then for the hinge hall section, anything that I know I particularly need to buy, whether it's work related or home related, will go in that section. Um, I'll also sometimes record things that I have bought as I did a little bit of tracking for spending, not that I heavily track what I spend on, um, but it's handy to have it there, particularly if I do have any work expenses, then that's a handy spot for that. So a lot of this is very functional, obviously I get a little bit fancy with a little bit of lettering on the days of the weeks and that kind of varies, sometimes I'll use different colours, sometimes I'll use a little bit of script. Um, but it's just a little bit of fun, really. These are functional to-do lists for each day. And so that's what I do with the Hinch Lists book. So now I will then go into the 2021 Box Clever Press Family Life book and I'll go a little bit more in depth with each day. So I'll still have my Hinch Lists to hand at the side so I can keep track of everything that I've just put in. And what I will do is I will find where we are here we are and already I have put some stickers in from when I did last week's so and, and because some things um, run concurrent so we always have a morning prayer service on a Sunday morning we always have a prayer meeting on a um, Monday lunchtime and at the moment my day off is always a Friday so that's why those are like that. And then what I will do is I will grab my big sticker folder, which is filled with wallets of stickers 
and is organised by subject, theme, genre of stickers. And I also have a few sticker books that I haven't organised into that yet. So these ones I got from Ryman's stationery shop. Um, these are Dovecraft stickers and they've got teeny tiny planner stickers which are quite nice. See that little notes box would fit perfectly in one of these boxes so that's quite cute. And then there's just some floral ones for a little bit of embellishment. And then these shapes are really, really handy. So if I have something I want to say, but I don't have the sticker for it, then these are really handy to use instead. And then these I have gone through before. So I did a flip through of these two books on my IGTV. So that's linked down below. Please have a look at that as I went through, um, as a very quick flip through, I went through these books. I did film it as a longer version and I actually talked through the stickers. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments. So these are from Craft Sensations and I got them from the range. So we have set one and set two. Set one is in gold foil, set two is in silver foil. And there's lots and lots of different planner stickers. So we have 10 sheets that are on white paper and 10 sheets that are actually on clear. So some of those might be useful, so I'll have those to hand as well. And I will get sticker planning again. I'll speed this up and come back to you in a bit. Okay, so let's see where we're at and I'll also talk through some of the stickers that I have used for this week so far. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of clear space in the evenings at the moment. However, that's not to say that there won't be things going on. It just means that I haven't yet figured out exactly what those things will be. And I do have one more thing to put in for the afternoon on Sunday for work. So, with stickers like this, oh, that's not great straight, but never mind. So with stickers like this that I cut out myself, that's because I have um, put them into Publisher. In this case, I actually designed this sticker. It's actually um, some artwork that I designed for work. And um, put them into Publisher and printed them out on sticker paper. Cut them out into relevant strips, and then I cut them and use them as I go. Um, so, for instance, this one for work as well. Um, was an image that I found, a uh, royalty free image on Google. And so um, again, put that into Publisher, print it out onto a strip and use that. The same with this dance sticker um, and also the prayer meeting sticker. And yep, that's it. And then the I love coffee, a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus and the takeaway box and this working sticker here were stickers I found, oh, so images I found on Pinterest. Um, these ones here I took out of 
one of the craft sensations books um it's supposed to be very very hot tomorrow so i thought that would be quite nice to use that one i may even work outside for a little bit as it will be so sunny and then singing and dancing because my daughter will be going to dancing and also i'm seeing some friends in the evening um these cut kiss stickers here are all from if i show you they're from stick with the plan co and i got them from etsy so here's some little laptop ones which i used here so the plan with me ones there and the planning ones there and then the working ones is working from home i just love that one and the uh, meeting with friends as well and then the laptop layout here and the working laptop one there are from plan to stitch planning again um i originally found them on etsy but now they have their own sticker shop so that's plan to stitch planning i'll link them down below and then this one and this one have personalized images of my friends and i used an app which i will insert here called mirror and what you can do is you can upload a photo of yourself or someone you know and it will automatically computer generate their image into fun little pictures and so i put these into publisher and made them into stickers so my friend ellie here we've got an infinity friendship sticker and then this one here my friend tom he's pulling a funny face and he's it's time for tom as we're meeting for lunch um the login off sticker is actually a bitmoji um so i again shrunk that down put it into publisher publisher and used it as a sticker um these church ones here are from happy cutie studio let's get that off of there oh that's gonna tear just can't about see that but happy cutie studio on etsy and then these meeting stickers again i think i must have found um on pinterest um these um images i've got quite a few of these are um spiritual quotes um bible verses all in different pretty designs and patterns so this time block here as you can see i'm time blocking my week generally between six to nine every weekday it's going to be school run and that's a really boring thing to put a sticker for so i normally will have something inspirational or something that sums up my day as a whole in that time block just as something fun at the beginning of the day um if i did have an appointment obviously i would put that in instead um so that's why i use that and then the day off stickers again i made myself in publisher and then also this two meter distancing one so i found these little images in google and popped a little two meter between them because i need to remember that both of those meetings although i'm meeting with people that i know it's important for me to remember that it's social distanced and that we're going with the current guidelines so that is my week so far as you can see the spread there things are loaded in the mornings or at least the the plans that i make at the beginning of the week tend to be loaded in the mornings and then i allow my evenings afternoons and evenings to develop as the week goes on so that is planning in my hinge lists book here and then my box clever press family life book i hope you enjoyed the video Please do subscribe if you would like to and consider following me on my Instagram accounts, which are linked below. Particularly, as I said, I've um, got some flip throughs of sticker books on my IGTV. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.